Good day everyone, Tim from Timber Visions here. So today I'm gonna to be working on a project with my new trailer. Um, if you didn't see this video, I don't know, a week or so ago, I got, I got this new 22 foot, it's a split deck, it's a load trail, split gravity deck trailer, six foot stationary, 16 foot, um, tilt bed and it's a uh, 14,000 GVWR. So um, something that I always wanted to put on one of my trailers is a winch. And I don't want the winch to always be there. So I'm kind of doing this a little bit different. So I'll, I'll bring you in a little bit closer and we'll look at what I've done. So up front here, um, I created this, uh, bracket to bolt to the, uh, front of the trailer. It's just a four inch, uh, angle iron. And then I welded a receiver, uh, receiver hitch type deal on there. But as you can tell, I <laughs> put this backwards and with the holes on the wrong side. So attention to detail tim but you know you can overcome that type of stuff um it doesn't really matter it's not going on a truck or anything so it doesn't really matter if i don't have that bumper towards the front and i can just drill some new holes so so that's what i did and then i purchased this uh little receiver winch deal to uh put my winch on and then in this space here, between these angle irons and this channel here, I'm going to mount a toolbox that's uh, 15 by 15 and 48 inches long. So I've fabricated um, some uh, bracketry for that to sit on in here. And my brake controller was mounted right here, I don't know if you'll be able to see them holes or not. I'm gonna relocate that inside of the toolbox that's gonna to go here. So the toolbox isn't here yet. So I spent the day yesterday fabricating and attaching this to the front of the trailer. And then this morning I drilled some holes. So in uh, talking about drilling holes in metal, before today I had never used a step bit for drilling metal and let me tell you that thing's a game changer I'll, I'll grab the one that i've been using hold on all right so here's the uh step bit that i've been using it's a uh, to milwaukee and uh this one goes up to three quarters so i needed that to do the receiver pin and most of the drilling i did I only need a half inch, so I use this half inch max step bit. But man, do these things cut through metal. Um, if you've used these, you probably know what I'm talking about. But I will put a link in the description for these uh, step bits. They're, they're pretty amazing. And then I will put a link for uh, this winch that I'm using. So this is an open road. 6,000 pound winch. And it's, it's designed to go on a, a ATV, UTV type deal. But I'll get you a little closer look at that. All right, so this is what comes in the box. You know, you got your, uh, all your hardware to mount it, and your relays and all that, the wiring and relays. And it does come with two wireless remotes, which is one of the main things that uh, I, I wanted this one for. Of course, a lot of it come with, you can get that or whatever. Um, some wire to run to the, uh, to the winch from the battery. Your hook, your little rubber covers for your connectors, a fair lead for synthetic. And of course, the winch itself with synthetic on it. So I'm not gonna go through step-by-step step on 
and you know attaching this to the plate basically you just run bolts up into here you'll slide nuts in there and then run bolts up through the plate through the bottom of this plate into the winch so it, you know it basically attaches it to that plate but then i'll be able to store this winch in my toolbox when i'm not using it and then the only thing that'll be outside the box uh, will be this you know receiver plate which is it encroaches on the deck a little bit but not very much um and it's very low too so it uh should work out pretty good but like i said i'm not gonna record every little thing that i'm doing here but i'll get this winch attached to that plate and then i'll bring you guys back okay issue number one this uh plate does not line up with the holes on this and these cutouts for the fair lead do not also so that was kind of a waste getting this uh plate <laughs> that's kind of a bummer all right so here's the uh little bracket that i fabricated to uh, fit in here it basically just goes from one end to the other and i made it a little over 15 inches wide put in some of these supports in the middle it feels pretty dang firm so i think it should be fine and what i wanted to avoid was welding on my new trailer so um i'll be drilling some holes and bolting it in on uh, all four of those angles. So I'll do that, bring you guys back. All right, so this is where we're at right now. I uh, put some 5 16 bolts on this one side where I have plenty of meat to drill into and then uh, have a nylock uh, bolts on the other side. On this side, there's not a whole lot of room to put a bolt, but it does rest on this uh, gusset here. So I think I'm going to just leave it like that. Now I just got to wait for the old uh, toolbox to show up. And I'll do some research and get the proper uh, plate for this guy. That kind of uh, makes me sad. So after digging around in the box a little bit, I found that uh, it came with a plate specifically for this winch. Okay, I'm back. So I ended up uh, finding a hunk of two inch square tube and welded it onto the bracket that came with the uh, winch and uh, now I'm gonna do uh, a live testing into the receiver here <sighs> see if that works boom 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 so there we go now all I have to do is go back to what I had done earlier <laughs> and actually mount the uh, winch onto the plate that came with the winch so I know it'll fit on here. Um, yep, sometimes with projects you just gotta roll with the punches and uh, that's what I end up having to do on this one. But uh, yeah, some, some good welds. It's fairly thick uh, two inch tubing i stole it from the uh the tongue of my old uh, splitter so i just lobbed a hunk of that off to utilize for this project since that's no longer in use in that capacity so 
I'll go get the winch and I'll mount it on this. Stick with me. Okay, so you slide the little nuts into the spot down in there and then uh, it seemed to work best to do one side at a time so you could put that the nuts down on that one side um, and then do the other side. But of course you don't tighten any of them till all four are in. You just get them, you know, started. And then we can torque them down. Okay, so I got the fair lead on. My recommendation, before you mount the winch, put the fair lead on because just a tighter space back there to try to get tools and hold it with your fingers and everything. So just easier to do that before you put the winch on. So Okay, so now we're to the point where I'm waiting on the uh, toolbox to come, but we can uh, set this in here quick. Just kind of do a little dry run. Plenty of room around it. Um, doesn't take up too much deck space, but it is removable anyway um, if I need to do that. So, so yeah, uh, looks pretty good there. That should uh, should hold pretty well. So, once I get the toolbox, <clears throat> we'll get that put in place, drill some holes and get that bolted down to the bracket that I put in here. And then uh, it'll be running wire and all that stuff. Okay, so the toolbox finally showed up. And it uh, it fits in here pretty darn good. Like I said, I, I gave it a little extra room width-wise. But I'll still be able to screw it down to the uh, angle irons it's sitting on. And, uh, and it, I got it kind of eyeball centered in there I need to go a little bit that direction a little bit more but but overall looks pretty good and I gotta give credit where credit's due this thing was packaged pretty darn good let me show you um so on the on these edges here these stiff cardboard corners were on there the bottom edge had these cardboard corners with like a foam padding and then the top corners had these to protect the corners also. So it, it arrived here in really good shape, which is, well, let's, let's just be honest. It's amazing because <laughs> uh, we all know how the shipping companies are. This did come UPS, which in my experience, they do a little bit better job than FedEx, but that's never neither here nor there. So I'll bring you in a little closer so you can kind of see this thing a little bit. Okay, so it it is keyed and it has handles on the side if a person wanted to, uh, you know, carry it, which I'm not going to. But uh, uh, open the latch and it's got uh, spring loaded uh yep so i'm gonna have to put it towards the front so there's room in the back for the doors i i can see already that might be that might be an issue any anyway um so i might have to shim up the back here a little bit but uh it's got the spring-loaded uh, doors that open up like that, and that latches down good. So, and I, I picked black for a very specific reason. The uh, truck box I have in the back of my truck is the aluminum chrome, you know, the shiny aluminum. And man, when the sun shines off of that thing, it'll about blind you. So, um, this is shiny too, but not like that uh, mirrored chrome. So, so yeah, I think this will work out a little bit better. <laughs> 